is it worth upgrading your router to Wi-Fi 6 to be able to play virtual desktop on your Pico 4? Let's find out, shall we? Now, I just want to say, I do have another router downstairs that I normally use, but I have bought this for this video to try and show you guys what the difference is. And I was, I'm going to say, I'm, I was surprised. First of all, the other router that I have is a Netgear Nighthawk. That I'll, I'll put some just just here. Of exactly the one that I've got. But it's not Wi-Fi 6. And I wanted to see. I mean, I spent quite a lot of money on that router what the difference would be and also i wanted to find out how much of an internet speed do you need to be able to play these games whether you need an internet connection at all because i have a feeling apart from using steam vr for example when you connect to it it needs an internet connection and if you're playing online games you're going to need an internet connection but actually to play do you need a really good internet speeds connection? As in, do you need a 100 megabyte um, download speed to actually be able to... And, and I don't actually think you need an amazing internet connection. What it's actually doing is sort of using your router as like a hotspot between your Pico 4 and your router. And then that connects into your computer via ethernet cable and it it's like a bridge it, it's a bit like those usb things that they're selling at the moment for 99 pound but this one was well currently 79 on black friday deal but i'm sure you can get it like as cheap and also you know it works as a router as well so you know bonus points i just wanted to test out because i'd seen quite a few comments saying that their internet speeds aren't very good and your internet speeds, they don't really need to be good. You just need a good router and it needs to be preferably in the same room that you're in. But also I wanted to show you with Wi-Fi 6 whether it does make a difference, whether you can go in another room and play and how comfortable it is. Okay, so we've got, we're good to go. We've got all the lights on, all, all the blue lights that we need to make sure everything's working. Now, we need to go into this and let's see. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so when I'm connected to my normal router, which is downstairs, I'm getting up here about 468. If I go downstairs, when I'm in the same room as my router, I get between 760-ish to about 860. And back upstairs, it's, you know, pretty poor. And this is where we can test it both ways and see whether downstairs for this router works better than upstairs for the other router. And this is where we see a full difference, really. The lowest I've seen it there is 864. Generally, it's between that and, you know, the 1200, which is uh, uh, about right. Now, the question is, what happens when we go downstairs? Is it similar? But we're already getting better speeds next to the router up here than we are to the router downstairs with the other one. Now back downstairs connected to the Wi-Fi 6 router, you can see I'm getting roughly about 626. Just depending, it went up to 720 at one point. But it's a lot better gaming experience with a Wi-Fi 6 router all the way upstairs and me downstairs than it is with my normal router going the other way. So, me upstairs and it downstairs. I'm, I'm confused by just saying this. What I also wanted to show you was what it was like if we disconnect the internet completely. Obviously, you need to make sure the game is set up first because you need internet access to be able to get to that certain point. And if you're going to be playing an online game, you need internet access. But I'm showing you, and I'm going to show you, Beat Saber not connected to the internet once you've got past that initial phase. More just to show you that you don't need fast internet to be able to play using virtual desktop and a Wi-Fi 6 router. So, disconnecting the main one, we'll see that go red in a second there we go go back to this so uh connecting play 
No, I'm not, I'm not going to be very good set now. I'm not going to lie. I just don't want to hit things. Nope. And there we have it. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm keeping this because it's actually a really good... It, it, it makes a massive difference. I can play not only downstairs but upstairs with no real problem whatsoever. And I kind of regret paying that much for the past router. But it does... I mean, Wi-Fi 6 does seem to make a massive difference when it comes to virtual desktop. Not that I was having technically a bad experience in the same room as my router, but I couldn't really play it up here. And with this one, I can actually play a Beat Saber downstairs while this is upstairs, which, I mean, is, is just enough in itself. That and the test of the fact that you don't really need good internet speeds to be able to use virtual desktop. Actually, you don't really even need an internet connection at all in some ways just shows that just making the upgrades to wi-fi 6 can increase the the your viewing pleasure and vr gaming experience thanks for watching guys and catch you in the next one goodbye